how to find and get rid of duplicate rows in Excel. As you can see, I have a large sales report data set. And uh, as I said before, I want to find the duplicate rows. As you can see, the first three rows seems to be repeated because the order ID is the same. But I can't consider only this condition to tell me if something is being repeated or not. Because as you can see, even though the order ID is the same, and even though the customer name is the same, this same customer bought for the same order ID different products with different costs and different prices. And it's okay. So it's not something that I need to get rid of. But if I take a look here in those two different rows, uh, they are being repeated because I have the same product, the same quantity, cost and price for the same customer, the same margin and on and on. Everything is equal to each other. So this is a row that I need to get rid of. And how can I do it in Excel? There's two main manners to do it. The first one is the easiest one. But uh, however, if you want to see what are the rows that are being repeated and not just get rid of those rows, the second method can help you. But let's start with the first one. How can I remove those rows? So as we saw, there are some rows that are being repeated, being repeated like those two right here. And there is a couple of rows that are not being repeated, even though the order ID is the same. What I can do is I can select everything that I need like this, select the entire data set. And then I can go to data. And here to the right, I have remove duplicates. I can click here and there's a lot of options that I can choose. And as you can see, I can use the columns as the criteria. So let's say if I check only the order ID, it's, cannot, it's not going to solve my problem because the order ID is the first criteria that can tell me if the, something is being repeated or not. Because as we saw, those first three rows has the same ID, but it doesn't mean too much, you know? So we need to select more data. Maybe I can select the date, the month, and uh, even everything. So I can select everything that I have to use as criteria, and then I can click OK. That way, Excel is going to check if all the columns that I have are equal to each other in the same row, they're going to be removed. Let's say you have five repetitions. You're going to keep one and remove four. OK, this is what is going to happen. Uh, just click here, OK. And then Excel is telling me eight rows are being deleted, and 63 are unique values. So, okay, that's it, we're done. So this is how we can remove, get rid of, duplicate values. But uh, let's say you don't want to only remove those values, but you want to check, you, you want to see what are those values, what are those rows. Uh, let me come back and do the action, click here. Now we can move on to the second method. And as I said before, the first one is the easiest one. Now it's something more complex to do, but not that much. So I want to use a helper column, maybe a column to the right. And then within this column, I want to input the equal sign and select the first cell that is important to be used as criteria. And this can be the order ID like this. And then I want to append this cell to another criteria. And to do it, I want to use the upper percent, upper percent. Now I want to select the second criteria. That is can be maybe the product. Now again, upper percent. And I want to select this time uh, the total price and then a percent, and then the customer name. Of course, I could select the entire row, but I want to just keep those four different criteria because I think it's enough. And then I'm going to press enter or hit enter. Now, instead of check manually cell by cell, we combine multiple cells and create a larger cell. And this is what I'm going to use to see if there is repetition or not, because within this single cell, we have a lot of cells banded together. Now let's click in the cell in the bottom right corner, hold and drag down to make sure we cope this formula down like this. I can also increase the width of this column. Okay. Now in the next column to the right, I can use equal sign again, but this time the count if function to help me count if there is a repetition. As the range, the first argument, I want to select everything in the column M. So I can literally click with, uh, over the letter M, trauma. As the criteria, the first one is going to be the name that I have to the left, the cell, enter. So as you can see, I got uh, as a result the number one because it indicates to me that this cell that I have to the right only appears once in the list. So it's perfect. There is no repetition. Click, hold and drag in the bottom right corner of the cell and move it down like this. That way we can see everything that is being repeated. So those two rows, because I know there is the number two right here. There's a number two right here too, because this criteria appears two times in the list that I have. Another thing that you can do is select everything in the column M, and then you can go to the home tab, conditional formatting, highlight sales rules, 
and here you can choose duplicate values and that's it now everything that is being highlighted with this reddish color you can see that it's being repeated so i hope you guys enjoyed this video on how can you find and also remove duplicates in excel use two different ways if you have any questions in it or any suggestions to the next videos let me know comment down below and i see you tomorrow as every day has a new video i see you there